All right, so uh, we are picking up some supplies today for the studio because we have to rebuild some walls and uh, rewire some outlets. And um, that's just going to be the beginning. It's going to be an ongoing project probably for several months. So meanwhile, we're going to be working on smaller projects. Um, I do have a big project in mind that I'm going to work on in the background and try and make it into uh, one video instead of doing breaking it out into multiple videos anyway uh, today we're going to build a guillotine and here I'm starting out with um, the legs which I made two and a half inches long or two and a quarter inches long and then the height where the blade goes is going to be three inches long <clears throat> there are two sections of these and here you can see what I've done is uh, created a little brace that's going to go on the outside and there'll be another brace on the inside. And with those I just cut them uh, in place and that way I got the correct size and angles. Used a uh, X-Acto knife to cut 45 degree angles or thereabout so that those braces would fit against the leg. And the tall piece there that holds the uh, the blade of the guillotine. Here I make the second brace on the back side of that. You can see the one that's completed at the top of the screen there. And then the bottom one here. Pretty easy and straightforward. So I looked up several pictures online. And uh, they have this little bed, I guess. Basically just a plank that they put the uh, people on before they get their heads chopped off. Um... So I measured that out using coffee stirrers. Um, but before I can put that on or put that together, I decided uh, we needed this back leg here. Just looking at the pictures, you need something to support the, uh, the back side of the uh, board that your victims lay on. So back to the, uh, the board itself. I'll just uh, eyeball it there and then cut off one, two, three, and I'm just lining them up one on top of the other. Then I decided to cut a fourth one after looking at it, figured that would be a better size. Uh, we'll see here at the end. Hmm, maybe could have gone with three, but I think four ends up looking better. So we got four planks there, glue them together side by side. And then get some glue and put it in place. Glue it on one leg, glue it on the second leg, and we have our basic structure for the guillotine. A little wobbly there. Um, now the top board. Just eyeball it and cut it. I mean, this is a really quick project. A lot of fun, too. The The best part of it comes at the end, where you put the detail on. Uh, add a little black wash and some of the detail. You'll see that here at the end. And just seeing if that's going to fit. Looks good. Yeah, that's not bad. And now the uh, headstock, where... You put the person in place. So a lot of dungeons will have like different pieces of furniture. Furniture. <laughs> Elements for torture. And uh, here, here we're doing the guillotine. And with the stock here, after I cut the pieces um, to length, I just go very carefully with a uh, X-Acto knife and I take out a little bit of a curve in both of these pieces the top piece of the board setting there above where I'm working right now and this piece just cut a half circle in the center there just really gently until you get it, you know, about halfway down. And 
and see how that'll go once I get the half circle and the top piece. I just doubled it up here so I knew about how why to cut each of the half circles. And then once I got them done, I just, you know, got a little bit of white glue, glue them together, clean off some of that excess glue. Then I went over to some cardstock and I just cut out a shape of a blade. You know, you go on uh, the web, look and see what the shape of the blade is. It's uh, straight across the top, a little bit of an angle at the bottom. And then uh, for the blade part itself, I just did a uh, slightly slanted down cut on the cardstock and then painted it silver. And that was pretty, pretty easy. So now that all the glue was dried, mostly, um, I just got some espresso brown for the base coat. Really might have gone with a little bit lighter brown here, I don't know. I think it came out really dark at the end, which isn't bad. But I think I'd like to try it again and see what a lighter brown as a base coat would look like. Because again, we're going to put a black wash on this at the end. After I get the base coat done, I just do a single dry coating. Um, I chose a suede. Suede seems to work really good in terms of weathering wood. You know how wood gets grayish as it ages? And then uh, a black wash. And you can see I've already put the blade in place there um, before the black wash. And I just go over the whole thing. And now with that done, I go back over and add a little bit of red on the blade for blood around the headstock. I guess this is a heavily used uh, piece of equipment for your dungeon or mine. And uh, that's pretty much it. Really nice, quick um, guillotine. And it takes no time at all to put it together. And it's perfectly suitable for any table. Anyway, that's it for this week. Um, if you liked the video, give her a thumbs up. If you didn't, give her a thumbs down. Feel free to comment down below. Um, give me any suggestions for things you guys would like to see in the near future. And until next week, have fun and keep crafting.